So Team STG, real talk, you guys are showing so much support. I promise you guys, you guys showed so much support in the last video. Gave the thumbs ups, comment down below, all that good stuff. And I told you guys, as soon as I found out more ratings, I was sharing with you. And that's what we're doing right here. So last video was 50 to 40. This video is 40 to 30, even though it's only 40 to 31. But you know what? I'm going to 40 to 30 because it sounds more appealing when you look at it. So we're going to go 40 to 31 right here. Let's start this off. Oh, snap. Here we go. All right. At number 40, we got Al Horford. We talked about that last video at an 83 overall. Now, at an 83 overall for number 39, we got Manu Ginobili. At number 38, we got Ty Lawson at an 84 overall. At number 37, we got Lance Stevenson at an 84 overall. At number 36, we got Zach Randolph at an 84 overall. At number 35, we got Serge Ibaka at a number 84 overall. <laughs> 84 overall rating. It's getting kind of tough. All right, number 34. We got Chris Bosh at an 84 overall. We'll talk about that. Number 33, Gordon Drogic at an 84 overall. Number 32, we got Darren Williams with an 84 overall. So as you can see, we got a lot of 84 overalls. And finally, at number 31, we got Paul Millsap at an 85 overall. So we have everybody at an 84 except Manu Ginobili. And of course, we got 85 at P Paul Millsap. All right, so let's start talking about these ratings just a little bit right here. Now, the big names, as you can see, is obviously uh, Lance Stevenson. Big time upgrade from last year. He deserves it. Been playing really well. You can see Serge Ibaka at an 84. That's cool. Now we got the highest paid player in the NBA, Chris Bosh, at an 84. I thought he had a great season. Uh, you know, he shot the ball well. He did a lot of crazy stuff, and he's going to kill it this year. If you're playing fantasy, you better pick up Chris Bosh because he's going to... He's going to do work in my opinion. Like I said, I just saw a tweet from LD2K. Uh, Darren Williams was like an 85 or something. He just got uh, upgraded to an 84. So, you know, even during the off season, no matter what, I don't know how they get these crazy news, but apparently they felt that he had to go down. So, you know, these, these are very, very tentative ratings in terms of when the season starts. They will always be updating and whatnot. But we see Chris Bosh at 84. Do you think he should have been started as a higher rating or as a lower rating? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. We got players like Goran Dragic who killed it last year. You know, he really, really was the face of the Phoenix Suns in my opinion. With all his crazy multiple scoring games, Goran Dragic, is he worthy of an 84? Do you think he should be higher? Do you think he should be lower? I'm sharing these guys with you, the ratings with you guys. I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below because honestly, that's where it's at. Zach Randolph. You know, I love Zach Randolph, but was he the same Zebo as we've seen him in the past couple of years? Do you think he is worthy of that 84 overall? We also have a player like Paul Millsap, the highest right now. So for the highest overall rating player that we know beside the top three, do you think that Paul Millsap is deserving of that 85 overall? Now, another name, Darren Williams. D. Will. I love Darren Williams. He's a cool dude. I always wanted to meet him, man. I even wanted to get that one game he had to connect, that dribbling game, to help me work on my dribbles. Really did need that. Real talk. Still need it, man. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, do you think that Darren Williams is worth the 84? Do you think he should be a higher? Because at one point, at one point of time, he was a top five point guard. Guaranteed top five point guard. Him and the Utah Jazz, bro. D. Will was a monster. Do you think Darren Williams should be rated higher? Or do you think an 84 is a good fit? You know, we see all these rated players right here. Manu Ginobili with an 83. Do you think he still has a lot more gas in his tank? Ty Lawson, 84. Let me know in the comments down below, Team STG, what you guys think. As soon as I find out more ratings, I will let you guys know. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, because whenever we find out even the smallest detail, smallest detail of 2K15, I'm going to share with you guys, because you guys deserve to know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one. Peace.